Hey guys, Brent I'm Millimeter USA here, and today's video is going to be the 45 ACP carry Glock video, covering three different 45 ACP or 45 auto Glocks, starting out with the smallest, the first of the subcompact pistols from Glock, and that would be the Glock Model 36 and 45 ACP. Again, a single stack pistol, so you're talking six plus one and 45, so a total of seven rounds if you carry one in the pipe. That's one of the problems with this pistol. I'm gonna cover it right out the gate. And I've been hitting it home on the videos on the Glock 36 because it's a problem. It's a design flaw. You can't release the magazine release easily as a left-handed shooter. It's the old rip and strip method. Meanwhile, as a righty, the magazine drops free. So that's something good to know if you ever had to use this pistol as far as, you know, utilizing this in your left hand and trying to do a reload. The Glock 36 has some challenges that uh, you need to be aware of. Everything else about the Glock 36 is amazing. Slimline 45 ACP pistol. Super carryable. Remember, right, this thing weighs in like 21, 22 ounces, maybe 23 ounces. I know for a fact the Glock 30 SF right here weighs in at 26 ounces. So a little bit heavier, but you got that double stack magazine body with the Glock 30s versus the single stack magazine in your Glock 36. Again, right here, 45 ACP double stack Glock 30 mag, single stack Glock 36 mag. Both of these magazines are that polymer magazine body, metal lined, super high quality, very durable magazines. Rarely will you run into an issue with a Glock pistol or a Glock magazine. They're really well made. All right, continue to talk about the magazines here. I'm not sure, yeah, there's probably really not many options as far as the Glock 36 is to make it uh, one less round. But anyway, Glock 30 here, if you wanted to take one round off this pistol, take off the finger groove style base plate here and put on a flat base plate, bringing you down to nine rounds in a flush fitting mag. Continue to cover the Glock 36 here. You have that Gen 3 style stippling here, finger grooves, Gen 3 style magazine release. Again, not a whole lot of texture here. Pretty slick, but it doesn't feel too bad. Feels a bit like a one by two to be honest though. So if you don't have huge hands, this might not be the most ergonomic pistol in hand for you. Comparing that to, because I got it here, a Glock 27 Gen 5. You'll notice how much thicker that Gen 5 slide is on that Glock 27 now, compared to how it used to be anyway. So Glock 27 on the right, a little bit thicker Gen 5 design compared to that Glock 36 on the left. This is running Ameriglow Night Sights, and my Glock 36 here is running a pair of Night Vision Night Sights, two dot, square outline, tritium rear, high visibility orange outline front sight. Perfect sight picture on this Glock for carry. And comparing the Glock 36 real fast again to the 27, you're looking at nine rounds versus again, six plus one. And lining them up here, that's what you're looking at there. Difference of the slide. This would be a good moment actually to cover some of the Gen 5 features. So if you wanted to get a Gen 5 gun, you would have no finger grooves, front cocking serrations. It also features the Gen 5 or Gen 4 stippling pattern. Pretty aggressive, feels pretty good in hand, in my opinion. Do I like it as much as like the RTF2 texture or anything like that? Of course not, but it does the job. Another feature of the Gen 5 gun is you have an ambidextrous slide release. You're also running, again, the Marksman barrel, which has a nice target crown to it, and again, polygonal rifle. Really nice upgrades to the Gen 5 gun if you wanna go for a Gen 5 Glock 30 over the Gen 4. Real fast, right here is another Glock 36. It's my second Glock 36. I got it out real fast for the video here. You can see that it has that frying pan-like finish to it. Are you feeling lucky, punk? <laughs> right? Anyway, no, that's nice little clover there. Very nice. Oh, the luck of the Irish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Good quality. Colorful. Slide cover back plate back there. Again, made a solid brass. The sights on this are the XS night sights, F8 night sight. Highly visible front sight. Again, amazing tritium vials on this. This is that stack the snowman style sight picture. Again, two dot style. Glock 36. Running also a talon grip on this. This is how it came as far as with this grip. Used. 400 bucks, you guys. So there are deals to be had out there on used Glocks in, in great condition even. This was in fantastic condition, probably like 100, 200 rounds put through it, if that, in my opinion. And it also looked to have been barely carried, if at all. Moving on from there, let's get this out of the way. And this is a Micah's pocket holster, by the way, if you're interested. These run about 40 bucks, 35 bucks. Super high quality, handmade, leather pocket style holster. That also fits the Glock 36. This is actually made for a SIG P320 subcompact or a Glock 27, 26. But anyway, if you guys are interested. 
All right, so moving on from the Glock 36, now let's cover the old warhorse, the Glock 30 Gen 4. If I had a Gen 5 pistol, I'd definitely be showing that to you guys because, again, I'd like to show you guys the more updated stuff, but this pistol has seen quite a bit of use. You can see some of the carry wear on this pistol. If you guys are followers of the channel, you know that you've seen this pistol quite a bit over the years. Again, 10 plus one with the Glock 30. Very thick, slide profile on it, well balanced. I love that about the Glock 30. It is such a wonderful pistol in the hand. Even compared to the Glock 36 here, it's more balanced in my opinion over the Glock 36. All right, so here we go. Side by side profile, Glock 36 on the left, Glock 30 Gen 4 on the right. There you go. That's what you're looking at. Again, the old Glockaroo barrels. Polygonal rifled on the standard Glock barrels. No marksman crown job on the Gen 4s. You get that on the Gen 5 gun. And also the ambidextrous slide release. You can also swap over the magazine release on the Gen 4 and Gen 5 gun. You can't do that on the Glock 36 or the Glock 30 SF. And speaking of the Glock 30 SF, now that I've got it in hand here, what are the differences between the Glock 30 SF and the Glock 30 Gen 4? There aren't many. Same profile slide, very similar grip profile overall. Which pistol feels better in hand? That is a tough one. But I'll tell you, if I had to pick one up and what feels best in hand, and it's a little surprising to me actually, is the Glock 30 SF. Now I might be crazy guys. They might actually be the same overall circumference as far as the Gen 4 and Gen 5 gun to the SF model, but it feels like it might be a little bit less. So it feels like a bit more comfortable of a grip on the 30 SF compared to even the 30 Gen 4. But again, showcasing the feature difference. Again, a smaller magazine release on the SF model. You lose all that Gen 4 texture pattern, but it still feels pretty good with the old Gen 3 texture pattern. It works, guys. It's worked for many years, worked for law enforcement agencies for many years. Yes, that polymer will wear down over time as to the texture pattern on it, but it still serves its purpose. Another thing to mention here are the different night sights on these two Glocks. The Glock 30 Gen 4 is running a set of True Glow Pro night sights. So you have that very highly visible front sight. U-notch rear, nice ledge on it if you need to rack it off something. Stock sights, if you had to get stock sights on a Glock. These right here are the Glock factory night sights. Metal night sights are fantastic out the gate. A lot better than your stock crappy plastic sights. So these are three of my favorite carry 45s, you guys. If I can't carry a 1911 or a SIG or something like that, these are three go-to options in our family for sure. Again, the Glock 36 is a ultra concealable pistol with its six plus one capacity and it's thin. It's it's lightweight. This fully loaded weighs less than a Dan Wesson ECP, the Glock 36. So again, that's saying something. It is a fantastic design, even though it is a super old gun. This is, if I'm right, the Glock Model 36 is almost a 25 year old design at this point. Because again, this was released from Bright in like 2000 or 1999. And then over here, the pocket freight trains, man. The old sledgehammers, 10 plus one. All these Glocks right here are Austrian made. Uh, if you had to get a US made Glock, no issues with that either. But uh, these are all specifically Austrian made and they've all got really good triggers overall. Although the Glock 30 SF here has a pretty heavy trigger for a Glock. Real quick, I'll showcase the triggers. We're not gonna pull the trigger gauge out here on this video, but this will be good enough for you guys. Reset at the wall. Great break, again. So with the Glock, you got that safe action style trigger with that little lever safety in the middle, little dingus. And once it's pressed and out of the way, then you've got activation of the trigger. Again, a smooth trigger, even in this little Glock 36. Glock 30 Gen 4. This has a really good trigger for a older Glock. At the wall. Creep, 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 break. Reset on this one. A little bit of movement. Break. Still a good trigger. Glock 30 SF. This specific one has about an eight pound trigger for a Glock. Again, it is what it is, but uh, not bad. I like how it firms up at the bottom. It's a very defined wall. A little bit of movement and it broke. Reset. 
I love the Glocks, man. They have a very utilitarian, easy to use trigger, and it's very responsive. It's hard to beat a Glock trigger. And if you own multiple Glocks, you know what I'm talking about. It's just a very consistent, reliable platform. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of me covering these 45 ACP carry Glocks. Appreciate you guys watching this video. You guys have a great one. And don't forget to vote this election season. And as always, remember, your Second Amendment is worth protecting.